Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video I am renovating one of EA's houses in Brindleton Bay. Yeah, that's the name of the world. I thought I forgot. Anyway, uh, I made this house into a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Although I think on the gallery it is three bedroom, two baths because you can't do the half. But, I thought it turned out real good. I don't know. Just leave it down in the comments what you think. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I was struggling to decide if I wanted an office or not. But I ended up not having an office. But, I did picture, like, a, uh, grandparents living here where they're kids and their grandkids could come visit. The grandkids has a huge bedroom upstairs and the parents of this had the had the small bedroom that has a double bed. But uh there is two bedrooms in this house that is double bed. The master which is downstairs with its own en suite in the upstairs small room. You see that little a triangle no and triangle I think it's rectangle area right there I made that into like a pantry I would love to have a pantry in my house but that won't happen for a while but anyway um what to say I hope you can hear me very well because I'm using my new blue microphone that I got for Christmas. I thought it would be great to do the voiceover with. So I hope you can hear me. You can see there I enlarged the shelves and put it in the pantry area and I had to uh, bring down the walls to put them in there. Then I took one out because I wanted the boxes in there. And I believe cats can jump on those boxes. So that'd be quite funny to see because they'll jump on the boxes. And uh, they'll head, their head will go through the shelf if, if it works. Anyway, I was having a hard time choosing the curtains for this room. I believe I already got them down pat. I downscaled all the lights. I used the cheap lights but they work very well. I wasn't gonna do anything outside. I did put a, a doggy door or cat door or whatever door you want to say it as and I put a bench and two tables two end tables on the front porch but yeah the master is quite small compared to the bedroom upstairs but I think it's real cute but whatever <laughs> If you decide to put the master upstairs, and that is if you download it, y'all can, but I just like the master being downstairs. But anyway, I think it looks good. I was trying not to decorate this house too personal, although I did do the upstairs children's room that way. Where the grandparents can have their granddaughters upstairs and they have everything that they need. They have the toys, they have desk, and they have two beds, which I believe only one of them works. So just use your imagination on that. But I like this shower tub separation I did. I've done it in several of my builds in the past, but 
I locked it in this one, especially because I used the half wall. So, so you won't see the gap. I thought it looked very interesting. And here we are working in the living room. I wanted that table from the, the cats and dots. And I was going to enlarge the television, but I didn't. I just got one of the other televisions, and I used the nine key to lift it up. And yes, I do use move objects in this build, so if you want to download it, you'll probably have to type in bb.moveobjects to put it in your world whenever you put it get on the lot and tap in that cheat then you can put this house in your world and nothing will fall or anything which is quite good but I was having a hard time doing the bathroom right there then I figured it out I did not put a, a mirror in that bathroom. I just forgot. So, if you want a mirror in that bathroom, you can. But I did put a small mirror in the master non suite. And I believe we're almost done with the downstairs. I'm still not very good at these voiceovers, so I apologize. And now we are working on the down and upstairs. And I switched the bathroom around right now because I didn't like whenever you walk in, you're right there at the shower head. That don't make sense. It looks like you could... Mm, readjust that as you're locking and I put those chairs together and it makes it look like there's a couch there which is very interesting and this house does not have computers but they do have a little study nook right there in the kids room so the kids could come over to their grandparents house and do their homework if they want to or just play with the toys. And I put that big toy box thing in the corner. It's not usable because it's decor. But I liked it there. So I was going to put the bed in that room in the middle. But I decided not to. Whoever stays in this room can crawl over because they can in the Sims 4. And I'm about done with this room and I'm about done with this build. And we are fixing to be in the screenshots. I did the before and after screenshots. Tell me in the comments how you like them. I hope I did them okay before after you can see I didn't do much in the back uh, not the backyard the um landscaping or anything I didn't do the landscaping but I did add a few tables and a bench out front but this is where I'm gonna leave you guys I hope you like the house if you did, give this video a like, comment, and support my channel if you like my videos by subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.